Hey, what's up guys? It's Saturday, second day here in Stockholm with the round of 16 to take place in the morning, men's, with the women's, doubles. So yeah, it's gonna be a fantastic day. Quite cold, bit of rain like yesterday, but all is good. So the venue's just down here. I was only down the road in the hotel, which is pretty cool. So the men's opening round, we have Dimitri Otrov versus Joey Montiero. England's Liam Pitchford versus Japan's Jin. Jonathan Groff versus Wang Yang. Matthias Coulson of Sweden versus Koki Niwa. That'd be a good one. Lots of epic games. We'll keep you posted throughout the day. So here's the t -Tech stand here in Sweden. Selling all different products. The Swedish distributor for Butterfly, Stiga, Xeon. All different products. There's some blades here. Carbonados, Rosewoods, Team Bowl Spirit over there, Mr. Tani. Some glues. Some signed blades, these things are cool. Get player signatures. Players preparing for the round of 16 at the Swedish Open. Matthias Carlsen in the corner there. Otroff working on his backhand flick against coach Roscoff. Japanese Freitas here with Kule. Pitchford, Joe Montiero, and Koki Niwa. Otroff working on that backhand and forehand combination. Hey guys, I'm with Stefan Mengel here. Overcome Xu yesterday, fantastic win. So how was it? How was your thoughts in the match? Yeah, it was really good match uh, in general. Also the years before, somehow I played always good when I played against the Chinese. So yesterday I knew before the match it will be a very tough game, but somehow I started to play very good, improved also during the game and finally I'm very happy that I could succeed. Yeah, obviously the Chinese are so difficult, they're very strong, the best nation. What's your tactics in going into the game? Uh, I didn't have a tactic before the game. Uh, I asked Dima because he knows him quite well and he said to me he's in a good shape right now and his score is in Chinese League A2, so I didn't expect that much before the game and then I just tried to fight for every yeah. ball, doing my best and finally it worked out. And Matthias has Kokimiwa, what is the tactics? Uh, I think they didn't play for a long time. They played when I was younger, so it's, uh, yeah, it was a long time since they played. But uh, yeah, I think uh, Kokimiwa is a very quick, quick player. Mm -hmm. So of course uh, Matthias has to have a, a great speed now in his game. Uh, also, Kokimiwa uh, plays with a lot of variation. That means that uh, uh, Matthias has to be aware of this and maybe try to stay close to the table mm -hmm. because he's changing the speed a lot in his game. So, yeah. Variation. So, uh, variation and, and stay close to the table. But Matthias has short hips on the forehand. Is this something he's always had and done? Yeah, he, he started with this when he was young and uh, yeah, he has developed it you know, every year since then and I think now he came. came has come up to a very high level with yeah. this material. So, I mean, yes, you can see there's not so many other players playing with this material. So I think he has done a great job. Yeah, I agree. It's very effective because there's not many players using this material. No, no, no. So it's, so it's of, quite nice and refreshing. Yeah. And of course, it's, it's, a, it's an advantage that there's not so many other players. You have a, a special style, you know, so many players can sometimes have a problem with this.
players here finding the round balls for the upcoming match. Okay. The men's round of 16 has commenced. Matthias Carlsen, that's Koki Niwa. Table two, Dimitri Ochoff, that's Joey Montiero. There's a lot of Swedes in today supporting Matthias. Host nation here in Stockholm, Sweden. Matthias, 10 8. There we have it. One set each between Matthias and Koki Niwa. Dimitri wins the first set there against Joey. Matthias leads 2-1. Match point here for Matthias Coulson against Koki Niwa. Crowd happy at that one. Congratulations on your win against Koki Niwa. Thank you, thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic. So what was the tactics? What, what was you thinking? I was thinking the first ball was quite important for me. The receives and because he plays so fast and in the beginning of the first set I had some problem with the uh, with the speed of his game, but after a while I get used to it, and I'm thinking the the receipt was most important for yeah. me. Of course, you have the short pips on the forehand. Does yeah. that help making more pressure on the opponent? Or hard to say, but yeah. for me it's good because I can change the spin in the ball all the time. With backhand I have a lot of spin, and with forehand with the smash it's it's a little bit down spin, so it's different and hard for opponents. Hey guys, I'm here with Adam Bobber in the commentary box. Having a great time here watching Dimitri Ochoff versus Joey Montiero. What do you think, Adam? The commentary box, huh? Well. Uh, <laughs> okay, <it's not> <laughs> sorry, spectators. Uh, spectators <laughs> Arena. It's our own personal, private table tennis daily commentary box. So Kent is playing on table one. Uh, Gene Ueda on table, the one with Liam Pitchford. That's going to be an interesting game, isn't it? Yeah, Seven Pitch five, uh, beating Ugo Calderano. I mean, it's also interesting watching players who are familiar with their opponent's styles. Uh, trying to keep my eyes on all four tables, but right now Dima and Montero is the uh, the one I want to see the most. Well, Adam, it's your time where you just rest in here, not in the commentary box, so I'll let you leave it to it, so we'll sign out from the tables to stay <laughs> yeah, in the sure. commentary box. No Thanks, problem. Adam. My pleasure. Nice to chat with you, Dan. Cheers, Adam. Match point for Dima. There we have it. Dim is through. I'm going to go for Marcus Freitas. I think he's got this in the bag. And for me, I don't think anyone has it in the bag. It's a tough one, but if I had to pick right now, I'd say Dima. Signing out. Liam Pitchford now in a 3-1 lead in the fifth set. Marcus Freitas in a bit of difficulty here. Lost the first set. Second set here. Liam Pitchford with six game points. 10-4. We have it exactly with that. Looking forward to the outcome of this game. Stefan Quish versus Kule. Very difficult one to decide who's going to win this. Quish in good performance, beating Thiago Apolloni yesterday. Kule also playing very well. I'm expecting some big rallies. Seven set here between Benedict. And Kenta Matsudera, 10-8. Two match points for Kenta. Do it to serve. Match point for Freitas. Freitas is through for the quarterfinals. Freitas signing some autographs here. Oh, she's got to sign his name. Sure, I'd be back. There he is. Good lad. Huge rallies. Stefan dropping off quite quickly. Like this. So much feeling. Just chopping. Otro first, Liam Pitchford. Dimitri takes the first set 14 12. 
Swedish Federation here working hard in their media pods. Bob Rowe here doing his commentary as he looks over at Artroth versus Liam's score. Matthias Carlsen versus Jonathan Groff. Quarterfinals, Swedish Open. Max, who's going to win this match? Matthias or Jonathan Groff? Uh, Matthias Carlsen 4 3. Last, last time in Group 1, but uh, the time before Matthias won. So even Steven, but uh, of course I share for Matthias. Matthias in absolutely great form here, using his short pips for his advantage. Sartreff leads three games to one. Looks like pitch is finding some form. We've got a lot of supporters here in Sweden. And Matthias, of course, host nation, just took the first set off of Jonathan Groff. It's all to play for now. Match point again for Dimitri Ochoff. Mishotchev takes it. Good game, good battle there. Four games to one. Liam signing autographs here. Tell you what, Matthias Colson's in absolute fine form here. 10 4, 2 0. 10 5. Kenta. Testing the balls before the quarter final match. Quish. Jonathan Groff is making a serious comeback here. However, Matthias is still fighting. It's in the seventh and final set now. Since that back shot by Jonathan Groff, he's been able to just keep coming back at Matthias. The stadium is still talking about that shot. Big crowd fan base here for Matthias. He's going to the wire. Crowd are buzzing now as Colson takes a 6 2 lead in the seventh set. Oh. Oh. Positive from Colson there. With those short pimples on the forehand aggressively hitting the ball. Here we go. Oh. Oh, Happy of that. Happy of it. Mattis Colton into the semi-finals will play Dmitry Otrov. A stand innovation. From the Swedes here. Matthias Carlsen backstage with the Swedish press. Max here. What did I say? 4 3. Oh, he did, yeah. <laughs> Great prediction. Should have put a bell on it. Having a good time, boys? Yes, sir. Who's your favourite player? Malone. Malone? And you? You, Walner. Walner, yeah? Yeah. Sweden. Yeah. Well, who's your favourite Swedish player? Um. Um. Oh. Anton Schellberg. Uh, Wow, what a point. Big match here. Freitas won the first set. Second set here, 2 2. Kenta Matsuderia versus Marcus Freitas. Here we are, guys. It's the final day here at the Swedish Open. Currently, have the women's single semi finals. Hugh Melek versus Hang Yin. Next up is the men's singles. First match on Dmitry Otroff versus Sweden's Matthias Colson. This match has been going to the wire, lots of rallies. 
the fence there from hanging. There we are hanging through to the final. The players here preparing for the semi-finals, Kent Matsuderia, training in upcoming men's single semi-finals. This is where the players walk on to the arena. Mattis Carlson here, warming up for his match against Dimitri. Dimitri getting ready for his semi-finals here. The crowd are gathering for this one. Matthias Colson versus Dimitri Ochoff. Big battle here. Match point for Matthias. Sweden fans happy of that one. Dimitri wins the second set there. Matthias and Archoff at one set each. Who's going to win? 4-3 yeah. Matthias. Uh, I think... No, 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 I think Dima, Dima will win in, in, in the long run. I think he missed a little bit too much now in the fir first three sets. Uh, and Matthias, he plays a little bit too... Uh, he gambles a little bit too much when he plays. So I think Dima. Ten eight for Matthias Colson as he leads in this fifth set. Two sets each. <laughs> Matthias leads three two. Main man Bobro commentating for the ITF here. Another ball is broken. Colson short pips. Blitzing the ball in half. Matthias Colson leads 8 3 here. With a 3 2 game to lead. Whoa. What a forehand. A big timeout. No timeout's been called by Matthias' coach. Oh, there it is. Look at that. I should be a coach. The timeout's been called. 10 7. The field of tension. Unbelievable stuff, the win of his career. Matis Colson defeats Dimitri Ochoff in front of his home. Swedish fans. Absolutely buzzing this lad. Absolutely loving it. I don't blame him. Hey guys, I'm Matty here, he's a busy guy. I'm going yes. for Ward now. Congratulations, fantastic. Thank you, win. thank you. What's going through your mind? I, I don't know, I'm, I'm just blank in my head. It's, it's fantastic. Performance but, of your life? Yes, yes, in the singles. I've never been so far in a world tour or uh, ever played better. So, just one more match to go. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank well you. Done. We have a Japanese clash here Kenta Matsuderia versus Yuya, both from Japan. 1 0 to oh. Yuya. Kenta now with a set point lead. There it is, Oshima is through to the final of the Swedish Open and will take on Matthias Colson after a 4 2 victory over Kenta Matsuderia. I tell you what, it'd be quite nice if uh, Matthias Colson wins this in Sweden at the Swedish Open. Go quite well, I think. Hey guys, I'm in the arena here with Jay Hagberg. Tailton's player, watching from the sideline. How's it going? It's going well. It's been uh, nice watching uh, one Swedish player be in the final now. So it's quite, it's quite really fun and exciting. It's exciting, right? Yeah. Who do you think's gonna win them? 
I, I actually think Matthias Karlsson, he's playing this tournament, he's looking really solid, like his defense and as well, I don't know, the game has been really like, I wasn't actually that surprised that he beat Ovechov, not the way, not after I saw him, how he played against Jonathan Gro. He was up 3-0 and 5-2 and I know it could have been like 4-0, I think. So it's not that I'm being biased because I want the Swedish guy to win, but I felt like I, w I won't be surprised if it takes, yeah, if he wins the whole thing. No, I agree with you. And also, he just seems so sharp, the backhand yeah. as well, and yeah, the yeah. hips. Yeah, yeah. It's like his receives, he's so good to put short after every service, and no problem. And every backhand, like he's a real good backhand, as long as you get like opportunity with forehand. So his like offense is really good as well, and his defense is also really good, and his receives like so. I know he looks really solid, like he doesn't miss that much either. If if, if you get a if you get a win a point, it has to be it takes a couple of ball for the ball to pass, you know, a couple of times. Women's singles final, Yume Lake versus Kashumi Ishikawa. Set point. Oh. Great forehand there from Hugh. Wow. Kashumi Ishikawa wins the first set here. The men's singles finalists here warming up. Matthias Colson. Yuya Oshimura. Coaches here. I'll tell you what's incredible guys, even though the Chinese players are out, they're training on the final day. Practicing here. If you submit in one year, yeah. it's maybe 30 a training day. Sure, sure, so yeah. So you need to, yeah. Uh... Matthias here working on his backhand top spin. Japan's Ishikawa in good form here. 3-0 lead. Oh, good serve, straight to the body. Strong forehand there. Oh. Great rally there, great exchange. Ten seven match point. Oh, what a shot! Into that backhand, pinning in the backhand. There we go. Six match points for Kashumi Shikawa here. There it is. Kashumi Ishikawa is the women's singles champion of the Swedish Open. Here he comes, the Japanese player, Yoya Oshima. Here he comes. Oh. Oshima's won the first set here in the men's singles final. 11 8 against Matthias Colson. 6 6, second set. What a block. Take set point here at 10-7 in the second set. Oh! Here we go! Oh! 
Wilson wins the second set. It's now one set apiece. Watch him in good form there. Quick drinks break. It's great you can watch the match on the screen here. Nine four. Set point here for Mattia. He's done it. Two two. And this men's singles final. Great exchange, a great switch down the line. Hey. Yuya Oshima takes the set and leads 3-2. He's gonna have to continue the fight to start making higher percentage. There it is! Oh. Is this Matthias' time to shine in Stockholm? 6-5 up here. It's in first. There it is, 7-5. Oh. Got to get him first. Chuck it in. In. There it is. Look at that roar. Oh, save match point there. Oshima match point. Fantastic. What a performance by Oshima. What a tournament this lad's had. Absolutely outstanding effort by Matthias Colson. Defeating Kokinira in this tournament, Jonathan Groff, Dimitri Otroff. Great respect there by the coaches. Delighted. There we have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I uh, really enjoyed this uh, week with Stiga at the Swedish Open. Kashumi Ishikawa, the women's singles champion. And, and Yuya Oshima, the men's singles champion, with a fantastic win over Matthias Coulson. There he is there, doing an interview with Swedish TV. Everything's getting packed away now, so that training hall you saw has completely gone. Everything's getting packed up. But what a great event. Hope you enjoyed all the coverage here, with all the behind the scene action, with training hall, players, interviews. I'll be uploading a lot more throughout the week, so make sure you stay tuned. Thanks for watching.